Well guys, this is basically the first book I ever read about science. Got it when I was like four years old. I remember so well. Four or five, I can't remember. But back then, and it's not the same book. The same book that I had was it's still in Illinois and it's it's pretty well worn up. I I I accidentally wore the spine off of it and it's all kinda falling apart. But I found the collection of the entire series now on eBay for like 20 bucks and I got them because I'd only ever had this book. Check that out. So we have Atoms, Energy, and Machines, which is just the book that I get so nostalgic whenever I, I open it up. Because basically it's a full page photo on every single other page. It's just so it was such an amazing book and it, it's it's in a good like a good broken down way that even a child can understand but it's still very nice it's just it's just a wonderful book. Well I have Adam's Energy and Machines now I have Planets, Stars, and Space. Oh, blue. The entire book's blue. It's like a blueprint. Oh my god. Are they all different colors? So, the Earth, the Earth's story. It's black and white also. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's following the same thing, which is photos on each page. Which is very good for 1957. Then the way of the weather. Black and white also. So that's interesting that the other one's blue. Halos and curious clouds. Yeah. It's so amazing. Unfortunately, it seems like the spines in these books are just made really badly because it it feels like I'm almost going to rip them off. Sure hope I don't. I'm going to be very careful with this. But yeah, I'm just so chuffed about this. It's so amazing. So yeah, this is just so amazing. I'm so happy. The nostalgia is just so wonderful. I feel like I've, I'm off to a really great start with my collection now. And I don't even know if this is the entire collection. I think it was only four books, though. And I like how each front one has a different photo on it. Like, that's the atom. That's the uh, wind direction indicator, the uh, rooster or whatever it is. I don't know. We have the Earth. And then we have the planet, Saturn. I don't know, just so wonderful. And it goes well with all my other books that I recently got. Like those ones. The, uh, the college books. It's a nice level. Or a ni nice step up to that level. They really need to make a newer version of this book. Because it just, it's just, I've never found it's equal. Especially a newer one. You know, maybe I should go through and... Maybe we should make, maybe I should make like a, uh, I should make a digitized version of it on a website. Maybe I, I don't use the same letters or the same photos. I use brand new photos and I do brand new words and stuff like that. But I go on the same subjects like water, gas, and uh, liquids and solids and Nitrogen and oxygen and all the different things like friction and unwelcome guests. I don't know. Just that'd be kind of cool just to digitize that. I don't. I don't think it'd be very educational. I just think it'd just be very interesting just to read. You know, just because sometimes, sometimes it can just be good to read something you already know, especially when it comes to science. Do you feel like you can learn a little more about it? Makes me so happy. 
Oh, the last chapter. Tomorrow's World, The Power of the Atom. Is that a cyclotron? Courtesy University of California. I don't know, I didn't say it. This last chapter goes through nu uh, nuclear radiation and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I remember that photo. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you very much for watching. See ya!